Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Whoa, who turned out the lights? I can't see a thing. Hey, my eyes are wide open, but everything's black. Hey, why is it so hard to see in the dark? Well, it's all connected to light and how our eyes work. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let me find the light switch. Oh, not that. Here we Ah, there we go. That's better. Now that I can see, let's learn more about how light allows us to see objects. At night, the sun, our natural light source, is gone. And that's why it's so dark outside at night. And so we need to use man-made light sources, such as the light bulb over here that you can see. The light produced by the light bulb is reflected off the many objects in the room. And to reflect means to bend or bounce back. So the light bulb produces light waves, and those bounce off of everything in the room and into our eye. This is how we actually see. The light appears from a light source, it reflects off of objects around us, and enters our eyes. Mind you, this all happens super fast, because light waves travel 186,000 miles per second. Light from the sun, or even from a fire, travels at the same speed. A great illustration of the way that light works in relation to our eyes is a lighthouse. These tall structures use a giant light that shines out into the ocean at night. The light rotates around and sends a beam of light a great distance. But what happens when that light hits something in the water, like a boat? Well, the light hits the boat, it's reflected off of it, and finally the light enters our eyes, making it visible. Uh-oh, as the light rotates, the boat seems to disappear. Why can't we see the boat once the light from the lighthouse continues to rotate? Because there's no longer any light reflecting off of the boat and into our eyes. The boat is still there on the water, but without any light reflecting off of it, we can't see it. And when the lighthouse light rotates back around, we can see the boat once again. Now here's an experiment that we can do to learn more about light and reflection. We need a small mirror and a flashlight. Now in a dark room, hold the mirror next to a wall. Shine the flashlight close to the mirror and try to see if you can follow the light. What happens when the light hits the mirror? Well, it hits the shiny surface of the mirror and it's reflected onto another surface. The light travels in a straight line from the light source, uh, the flashlight in this case. It hits the mirror and then is reflected in a straight line opposite of the original beam of light onto the wall. And you can try holding the flashlight at different angles too. What happens if you change the angle of the flashlight? Does the angle of the reflected light change as well? well let's try it. Ah, yeah, look it does. Now the angle of the reflected light changed as we changed the angle of the flashlight. Smooth, shiny surfaces, like a mirror, reflect more light. Well, let's try to shine the light onto something like, I don't know, a paper plate. Does the light reflect onto the wall? Um, doesn't look like it. Some of the light is reflected into our eyes, making us able to see the paper plate, but the plate is not as shiny as the mirror, and so it absorbs more of the light. When an object has a rough or bumpy texture, like the paper plate, less light is reflected off of that object and into our eyes, making it harder to see in the dark room. Can you think of other reflecting surfaces? Let's explore a really cool example that shows how light is reflected off a reflective vest. Have you ever seen a worker wearing a vest with two silver stripes? Those strips are made of a special material that is made of tiny glass beads, which are very reflective. When light is shined on them, like the light from a passing car, it's reflected. And these reflective vests are used for safety on many construction sites and other work zones. The light that's reflected back to our eyes makes the workers more visible, even at night. And reflectors found on the back of a bicycle or car work in a very similar way to the reflective vests. A passing car's headlights will hit the reflectors and bounce the light into our eyes, making sure that we can see that there's a car or a bicycle there. 
These devices use the reflection of light to keep everyone safe. Ah, but don't blink or you might miss out on something. There might be light around us, but when we close our eyes, it's like we shut our own blinds and it's dark again. Alright, time for a quick recap. Our eyes need light in order to see things. Light from a light source hits an object and is then reflected back into our eyes. And this is how we see. Certain materials are more reflective than others, like mirrors or reflectors on a car or safety vest. Shiny, smooth materials like these reflect a lot of the light, while bumpy, rough materials like a paper plate absorb more light, making them harder to see in dimly lighted spaces. So be sure to keep the lights on if you want to keep learning. Until next time, mighty scientists.